Hey Dreamers, this is Mike. And in our latest bundle, we have a beautiful Amaryllis project, and we've included some optional printer cuts to make it even more realistic and beautiful. Diana designed some really pretty print to cut and to give it a more realistic feel with um, additional gradients and tones, it needed to be a PNG file rather than an SVG. Because of that, it does need to be resized. So it's super easy and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is set up our map here in uh, Silhouette Studio. So I have the page setup uh, tab here open and I'm going to first change my media size to match my paper, which is my paper is eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna change my paper size to that. And I wanna move over here to the right and change the registration marks to on. So I need to ensure that the project fits within those guidelines and we've already ensured that it does. So let's go ahead and bring in the project. So I'm going to do file open. I've already navigated into the uh, folder, which is in the extras print to cut folder. And I'm going to pull in the petals one snowy white. All right, now I am going to just click on it. You're going to see that it comes in at 6.49. We do need to resize that to uh, 6.6. .6. So I'm gonna go up here, make sure that the lock is locked, and I'm gonna change the width to 6.6, .6, and I'm going to click Enter. And I'm just gonna make sure that that is in the middle there. Um, it looks like my registration marks turned off, so I'm gonna make sure that they go back on. And then I'm just gonna center this a little bit so that nothing is overlapping there we go so you just want to make sure that you have this in here so that nothing is over these registration marks and so this looks good so at this point you would go up here and you would do file and you would go to print and you would go ahead and send it to your printer once that has been printed then you can go over here and click send and as you can see, the way it is set up, it would automatically go ahead and cut out those petals for you. So you would go ahead and just repeat that process for the next two. So from this point, you would just go ahead and highlight this and delete it. We would go into File and you open. Let's grab Petals 2, open that. Again, Let's go ahead and change that to 6.6. .6. And I'm gonna click the Enter button. And for some reason, the registration marks are turning off, so I'm going to turn them back on. And then just kind of uh, just move this around a little bit. All right, so you can move it down to like this. I think it would go ahead and still cut, but um, let's go ahead and go under Advanced Options. And let's just move the bottom I just clicked this down button, which extended this just a tiny bit. And I'm just going to move that down a little bit and maybe even to the right and the left and the top, just to give it a little bit more space so that things are not within these hash marks here. So that looks really great to me. And again, all I did was um, click these little buttons on the side under advanced options where it says left inset, top inset, right inset, and bottom inset. Um, I made them 0.5 so that everything fit in there perfectly. At this point, I can go ahead again and do file print. Once that's gone ahead and print, again, then I can go ahead and click send. That's another example of it is going to cut out all of those shapes perfectly, which is what we want. And the last one, let's go ahead and bring in the last one. So let's bring in that file and open. Grab petals three. We're gonna go ahead and I'm going to make sure that it's highlighted and change this to 6.6. .6. Click enter. You can see down here it is 6.6 .6, and I will turn my registration marks back on. And again, I'm just gonna move this so that 
nothing is within these uh, registration marks here. These um, hash marks are not going to print, but you just want to make sure you keep the design away from those areas. All right, that looks great. I'm going to go up here to File, Print, and we're going to send that one to the printer again. I'm going to click Print, and then once that has printed and you've loaded it to your mat, you can go ahead and click Send. All right, and then again, once that's ready, you go ahead and click your Send button down here, and you're good to go.